Hello everyone. Good afternoon. Today I welcome you all for our today's topic of discussion, which is application of tech geometrics in hydraulic engineering. To start with, I would like to start uh, with an overview of our organization, uh, TechFab India. We started in 2003 with a dream to give India a world-class geosynthetic products. We started in 2003 with a modest beginning and we started while settling up a manufacturing facility for woven geotextiles in Silvasa. And today we are proud that we are the largest manufacturer of geosynthetic products in India today. Also, we are the largest. Uh, also, we have the largest production capacity of geosynthetic products in India. We have the largest portfolio in terms of product range as well. Our geosynthetic products are used in various industries like river and coastal protection works road infrastructure works for ground improvements for airports etc today we manufacture a wide range of geosynthetic products in our six factories that are located in silvasa daman and haridwar the locations of our six factories are daman rakholi athal khadoli karjgam and haridwar our in-house testing laboratories are NABL and GuyLab certified. Also, we have ISO 9001-2015 quality certification for our manufacturing facilities. Since we manufacture world-class products and also our products are exported all around the world. So, we have several international certifications like BBA certification and SK, SKZ certifications and other certifications as well. This BBA certification is used for British standards, SKZ is used for, uh, for Germany and other European countries as well. Our geosynthetic products can cater the needs of so many in, uh, infrastructures, in, uh, for example, ports and marine industries power, mines and heavy industries, waste management works, real estate industry, transportation industry, water resources, irrigation and hydraulic works. We have different products that can function differently at different site locations. For example, this woven geotextile and non-woven geotextiles are used for separation and filtration purpose at various sites. And this polyester uh, tag grid uniaxial and this is polypropylene tag grid geogrid biaxial and this is tag strap and this is tag glass. These four products are used as a reinforcing element in uh, various industries. Other than this, this is prefabricated vertical drains known as PVD and this is geo cell textile geo cell these products are used for ground improvements in various sectors then this is known as uh, tech drain drainage composite this is used for drainage purpose and these products are used in hydraulic engineering works this this is a tech cell uh, uh, sorry this is tech tube geo tube this is a uh, tech fab metal gabion. This is a uh, geo tech fab geotextile bag. And this is our today's topic of discussion. Tech geo mattress. These four products are used in hydraulic engineering works. Other than this, this product is known as self drilling self drilling anchors, also known as SDA. This is called tech rhombus. This is called tech slope mesh. These three products are used in rockfall protection works. So overall, we cover a large domain of civil engineering field. And we understand that waterfront and water retaining structures are always critical and vulnerable in terms of safety they provide and the damage they can cause to the mankind. Therefore, 
design and safety of waterfront systems pose a very unique challenge before the engineers, contractors, manufacturers, and everyone else that is involved in the that that is involved in this industry, because these waterfront structures are mostly subjected to high discharge, wave pressure, frontal wave impact, surface erosion, and so many other site-specific issues. And the unique problems require unique solutions that should be sustainable and economical in engineering terms. We at Tech Fab India provide effective design solutions for many waterfront structures, coastal river protection works, canal lining, CD works, and several other ir irrigation and hydraulic structures. Most of our design solutions are based on the application of specially engineered and in-house manufactured geosynthetic products. Presenting in front of you uh, some of the products, some major products that are used in the hydraulic engineering. These products are listed here. This is Tech Geomatrix, which we'll discuss in detail today. That is uh, Tech Fab Metal Gabion. It comes in the form of box, sack, and mattress as well. Tech Geo container that we discussed, and this is Tech Tube, Geo Textile Tube, and this is Tech Cell, Geo Cell. Other than these major products, uh, some, some uh, products are also used in combination with these major products are woven and non woven geo textile for separation, drainage filter for drainage purpose, Tech Grid Geo Grid for reinforcement. These products are also used in combination with these products. Also, uh, this the details about the tech cell, geo cell uh, have been already already discussed in our previous webinar. And the video of that uh, uh, you can you can search on uh, YouTube. Coming to the introduction of tech geo mattress. A tech geo mattress is a double layered 3D tubular green mattress system which is used to form a protection system, uh, protection layer over the bed and the side slope of a water, of a water channel. It, since it is a 3D, it comes in uh, two layers. Since it is a 3D system, it comes in two layers, upper layer and the lower layer. The upper layer is mostly exposed to the sun and the environmental impacts. The upper layer is made up of woven high strength polypropylene fabric which is mechanically bonded with green staple fibers and cut fibers and that provides additional ultraviolet uv and abrasion protection whereas the lower layer is made up of uv stabilized high strength woven fabric which provides base and filter properties to the mattress system since the lower layer of a geotextile mattress since the lower layer is always is in, in connection with the uh, subsoil, therefore it, it needs to have a robust filter properties so that the uh, soil particles get, uh, do not get clogged. The tag geomatrix is uh, mostly, uh, it can be filled at site. It can be filled hydraulically, mechanically, or pneumatically as well. It can be filled with river bed material, all the locally available sand, and the system provides a robust bank protection system. Uh, there are uh, three systems uh, that, that can be uh, that can be used for the filling. However, the hydraulic filling is mostly preferred because it provides a rapid and uniform filling of the mattress along the slopes, and also uh, it does not require uh, skilled labor at site. The tubular shape of the mattress, as you can see in this picture, the tubular shape of the mattress helps in reducing the flow velocities of the river banks, which in turn minimizes the risk of soil erosion and bed scoring. Uh, the local uh, bulging of the sausages of these mattresses uh, provides, uh, generates high roughness coefficient, high Manning's roughness coefficient. This high roughness coefficient uh, reduces the flow velocity that uh, helps in uh, minimizing the risk of soil erosion and scoring. Also, this sand filled mattress system includes uh, anchor trench at the top and the toe trench at the bottom. This top and bottom trenches cater the need of the proper placement and the king of the mattress. 
coming to the infill coming to the infill soil material and the backfill soil uh, also you can see one picture of the top trench that we discussed uh, this top trench uh, is al also helps in proper placement of the uh, system the, uh, coming to the infill and backfill soil the infill soil shall be pore sand it should be free from organic material and the clay soil and the loamy soil should not be filled inside the uh, mattress the reason being that the coarse sand with the large particles is unlikely to come out of the pores of the mattress since the apparent opening size of the mattress system is 350 micron that we will discuss uh, in the later half of this uh, presentation so the coarse sand particles are mostly uh, large size particles as compared to clay and silt and uh, and the clay and silt can, can also get easily clogged in the pores that can uh, that can generate the excessive pore water pressure and can lead to the system failure in addition to this it is also observed that when the protection systems when the protection systems are placed directly on the soil they do not sufficiently prevent the erosion because of the poor filter properties of the infill material so if the infill material is made up of silty and clay soil then uh, then because of the poor filter properties uh, the pore water pressure cannot be uh, released sufficiently uh, that is why it is not recommended that the protection system should directly be placed on the soil we'll discuss uh, in detail also uh, the river water level in in any water channel the maximum water level is known as high water high flood level and the minimum water level that is that is usually maintained is known as low water level therefore the water level fluctuates between high flood level and the low water level and this fluctuation if this fluctuation happens suddenly then this can cause the sudden drawdown and the seepage in and out of the bank slopes and if the seepage is blocked by placing an impermeable protection layer then it can lead to the development of the excessive pore water pressure that can destabilize the bank slope therefore uh, if the seepage happens we should provide a path to uh, to allow the seepage that is why to ensure the success of the protection system on the bank a graded filter should be provided on the rear end of the protection system or the armored layer this this uh, graded filter also conventional grid filter is always a combination of coarse and fine aggregates and murum that that can be 600 mm thick uh, uh, graded filter the, the thickness of the grid filter can be 600 in which uh, 400 thick can be coarse aggregate and 200 can be fine aggregate also uh, other than the graded filter the launching apron should be provided for the toe protection and it should be laid at the river bed level the launching apron should always be provided along with the toe trench toe trench also should be provided and the launching apron uh, is provided for the uh, to prevent the scoring action uh, coming to the primary functions of the tech geo mattress the primary functions uh, there are several other functions as well but the primary functions are the uh, that we discussed river bank protection and the channel lining also since it is always filled with the coarse sand material it uh, it provide it provides a free drainage media so that that is why it can also provide a drainage function and also uh, it can provide the containment because uh, it stops the leakage of uh, harmful chemicals in and out of the bank slopes we have classified the major application areas of the two uh, major application areas of the tech geo mattress into two categories one is uh, river engineering and the second one is ocean engineering so the major application areas in river engineering are river bank protection canal lining soil erosion control bridge abutment and pier protection ponds and reservoirs river training works landscaping over the slopes just briefly explaining uh, bridge abutment and pier protection uh, since we all understand that whenever a, a bridge passes a crosses a, whenever a bridge passes through a river or crossing crosses a river the pier of the bridge are always uh, inside the rivers and at the time of peak flows because of the high velocity and the high discharge 
the bed of uh, the river is always susceptible to the scoring. Therefore, the foundation of the uh, if the scoring happens around the pier foundations, the foundation of the pier can be exposed to the environment. It can be in the floating condition that can lead to the damage of the bridge. Therefore, to provide the scoring, uh, the tech geometrics can be wrapped all around the all around the foundation of the bridge or all around the foundation of the abutment and piers, and uh, it can be saved from the excessive uh, scoring at the time of peak flows. And coming to the ocean engineering, uh, tech geometrics can be used for seashore protection, for the construction of sea walls and revetments, for the groins and dikes. Groins, we all understand. Groins and dikes are mostly uh, structurally same, but the groins are always laid uh, perpendicular to the uh, perpendicular to the seashore, whereas the dikes are laid along the seashore. The structural uh, uh, arrangement of the groins and dikes are mostly similar to the earthen embankments in which the the ins the inside material is known as core and the outside is known as shell therefore uh, in in groins and dikes uh, when when we made through geotextile material the core can be made up of tactile tube geotube that we discussed earlier and the shell of the groins and dikes can be made up of tech geometrics. Therefore, it provides a complete protection system. Coming to the technical specifications of tech geometrics, as you can see, it is a 3D matrix system. The, the properties of the upper layer and lower layer are different. You can see, uh, as we discussed, the apparent opening size of the upper layer and lower layer are 350 microns. Also, the higher tensile strength of the uh, geotextile fabric and the seams as well is high and this high tensile strength can cater the need uh, at the time of hosting and anchorage. The weight of the geotextile fabric, tensile strength and operant opening size and UV stabilities of the upper layer and lower layer are in accordance with the ASTM standards. ASTM is known as American Society of Testing Materials. The standard roll dimensions of the tubular mattress uh, are 4.5 meter by 33 meter and 5.1 meter by 33 meter. However, uh, the roll dimensions can be customized as per the site requirement. And uh, the width uh, after filling the mattress, the width of the mattress can be reduced depending upon the properties of the infill material and the filling density. And and the and the type of and the method of the filling as well and uh, the width of the mattress can be reduced by 25 to 30 percent after filling hence uh, it is recommended that the mattress should be properly creased and overlapped at the time of laying right before the filling it should be creased so that after filling there is no empty space between the individual units uh, the advantages of the tech geometries are uh, there are numerous advantages just pointing out few of those uh, that it is a flexible uh, river uh, protection system uh, the flexible means that before filling uh, when before filling it is it always comes in the rolls uh, we always uh, place the uh, roll of the geometries and uh, it can be adjusted on the irregularities of the river bed and side slopes and when it is also filled with uh, sand material, the sand material also it is not a cementitious material. So post filling also it can be adjusted to the irregularities of the uh, of the river bed material and the side slopes. However, it is uh, it should be recommended that the uh, that the base of the that that the river bed and the side slope should be properly uh, cleaned and it should be leveled before the placing of the mattress also uh, the tech geometrics promotes natural vegetation growth by entrapping the sediments be between the sausages so the sediments can be entrapped uh, between the sausages we understand that while flowing that any river while flowing carries some granular particles that can be deposited here and the vegetation can be grown later on on those and that provides additional additional stability also since it is a 
high permeable highly permeable system uh, because of the high permeability it also reduces the pore water pressure uh, this system is highly uv resistant also its aesthetic green look blends with the surrounding it is economical efficient and easy to transport that we discussed that it always comes in the rolls laid at the site and then filled it includes very less operation and maintenance cost coming to the design methodology of the tech geometrics i will try to explain the design methodology in brief that uh, the design inputs are channel geometry hydraulic parameters geotechnical parameters etc that the channel geometry means side slope of the channel bed level bed width bank level longitudinal slope of the channel then hydraulic parameters the major hydraulic parameters are design discharge velocity manning's roughness coefficient high flood level low water level significant height of the wave and the time period of the wave these parameters are also very important for the design the height of the wave and the time period of the wave especially when it comes to the seashore protection structures then other than this the geotechnical parameters are required uh, such as uh, cohesion uh, internal friction angle of the backfill the silt factor uh, at of the riverbed material the the silt factor uh, is useful in calculation of the scoring uh, of the score depth and the bore log report and also geotechnical parameters are required to check the global stability so these are the some of the design inputs that are required to start the design we should first of all we should design the thickness of the mattress the thickness of the mattress is designed uh, based on the flow load stability method and this flow load stability method is based on the equilibrium of the uplift forces and gravity forces if you want to uh, under understand uh, in detail about this flow load stability method you can refer the uh, there, there is a very good book uh, by k w pelagic in which the chapter is uh, alternate revetments so uh, you, you can search uh, you, you can search on uh, google that uh, you, you can find so many research papers by k w pelagic as well and uh, you can see the design methodology of the geometrics then post designing the thickness of the mattress uh, we should uh, check for the designing of the launching apron the designing of the launching apron is based on the score depth criteria uh, there are two kind of uh, the score depth can be uh, no normal score depth and maximum score depth so that uh, the score depth criteria is mentioned in irc sp13 and irc 78 actually irc 78 is for brisk design but the score depth criteria uh, design of score depth criteria is very well mentioned in irc 78 as well then post designing the thickness and launching apron we should check the stability of the mattress against the longitudinal currents and frontal waves after that uh, we should check the tensile strength of the geotextile for the anchorage and host hoisting uh, we uh, you can see in this picture that uh, the part of the geometrics over this uh, hfl over the high water level high flood level this part of the geometrics also provides the stability for the anchorage in this system you can see the pro the part of the mattress over the high water level also provide the stability against the anchorage and the top anchorage trench also provide the additional stability then for the hydraulic design then after the hydraulic design uh, we should check the geotechnical stability the geotechnical stability meaning uh, the global stability of the system that can be checked by slip circle method coming to the installation methodology of the tech geometrics the tech geometrics is easy to install at site and it uses very simple equipment when filled with hydraulically hydraulical method it is easy to install at site 
it uses very simple equipments without the requirement of skilled labor. Installation can be done hydraulically, mechanically, or pneumatically. You can see in this picture, uh, very basic equipments are shown uh, for the easy filling of the sand uh, slurry inside the geomatrix. The, the deck geometrics should always be laid along the profile of the slope, along the profile of the slope from top to bottom, so that it enables easy filling of the mattress. Also, uh, when it is filled along, when it is laid along the slope, uh, the slurry of the concrete uh, can be filled by means of gravity. And also, uh, the additional advantage is in this direction, the seams between the tubes are always under tension. The seams between the tubes are always under tension while filling, so that it helps to achieve the desired thickness of the mattress. You, you can see in this picture, uh, the mattress is being laid from top to bottom along the slope. After laying the mattress, the adjacent rolled rolls of the sand fill mattress should be joined by seaming on site. You can see the people joining, uh, jo joining uh, the individual uh, uh, tech geometrics, individual rolls of the tech geometrics by seaming. The sand fill mattress should be anchored uh, in a trench at the top of the slope. Uh, it should be uh, there should be a anchor trench at the top so that it can be placed uh, in position then post uh, and then post placing the anchor uh, the anchor trench we should start the filling the recommended size of the anchor trench should be 1 by 0 0.75 or 1 by 1 it depends on the availability of this uh, 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 availability at site and the anchorage requirement the mattress should be placed by bending in by by bending into the trench. The trench can be filled with earth boulders or geo bags as well. Under the conditions where the conventional filter system or the graded filter system is not available, a layer of track tech drain drainage composite over the profiled and labeled slope should be applied. Uh, as we uh, discussed that a conventional filter system or the graded filter system is is essential to release the pore water pressure and if it is not available at site uh, the very nice alternate is we should provide the tech drain drainage composite over this profile slope the drainage composite act as a water pressure release system that also uh, that also stop the migration of the fines from the embankment in and out of the embankment. Under the conditions, also under the conditions where the complete impermeability of the water or the water tightness is to be ensured, a thin layer of the low density polyethylene sheet should be sandwiched between tech geometrics and, and and drainage composite layers. You can see in this picture when this drainage composite layer is required or the conventional filter system is required we can uh, see in brief, um, brief that where, whenever the water table the natural water table groundwater table is below the bottom of the channel is below the channel bed level then there is no requirement engineering uh, in engineering terms there is no requirement of food drainage filter because then there is no possibility of the uh, seepage from the back of the uh, from the backfill but if the water table is is above the channel bed level and the water level of the channel is is, is low or at the what there is no water available in the channel then there is a high probability that the seepage water will in uh, will insert uh, some pore water pressure will generate some pore water pressure and this and magnitude of the pore water pressure is directly proportional to the differential water. In this picture, you can see the differential water is H minus Y. And uh, when this drainage composite is placed uh, behind the uh, protection layer, this drainage composite should be connected to the pipes, pipe drains. And this pipe drains will be connected to the bed and side slope of the channel. The, and this pipe should be a continuous perforated pipe so that the water, the seepage water can be uh, again uh, channelized to the water. The tech geometrics can be filled with both concrete and sand in slurry form that reduces its permeability significantly. When the tech geometrics is filled with sand, 
it reduce the permeability there is still some permeability is left but when it is filled with concrete uh, then there is a cementitious material filled then the permeability reduces significantly showing you one picture of the geotextile matrix right before the filling after the placing you can see the bottom trench is filled with earth and you can see on the top the the sand uh, is ready to be filled in the in the toe in the top anchor trench this is bottom toe trench uh, showing you one example where the geotextile uh, material um, geotextile matrix with toe protection you can see the toe protection is provided by means of the geotextile tubes and it is in this system it is very important to understand that the complete system is filled with sand the uh, the geotextile uh, tubes is also filled with sand and the mattress is also filled with sand therefore there is no uh, foreign uh, element is involved there is no artificial uh, element is involved everything is uh, available naturally therefore there is very less carbon footprint uh, and uh, is involved and there is very less damage or the negligible damage to the environment because of this protection system and this is one picture showing a river bank in eroded condition and in the protected condition. Other than uh, the geomatrix filled with sand, we can also fill the uh, mattress with the concrete slurry. Uh, this mattress can be of the multiple types. Uh, for example, a uniform section mattress, filter point mattress, filter band mattress, articulating block mattress and vegetation mattress. The uniform section mattress, uh, there is no provision for the uh, to release the pore water pressure uh, in the natural form of the uniform section mattress. It is more or less similar to the conventional canal lining system. Therefore, uh, a robust uh, drainage uh, media is essential behind the uniform section mattress. The usually thickness of the uh, uniform section mattress varies from 100 mm to 200 mm. It comes in the form of pillows, and because of its uniform um, uniform sec uh, because of its uniform shape, uh, the friction coefficient the the friction co the roughness coefficient of this mattress is also less as compared to the conventional concrete lining. Other than this, filter point mattress, you can see the filter points are available on the corners of the individual pillows. This is same as uniform section mattress, but individual filter points are provided at regular intervals. These filter points are uh, provided to release the pore water pressure from the backfill. Therefore, uh, the drainage composite is less essential. It, anyway, it depends on the site conditions but uh, the pore water pressure can be released by means of filter points in the filter band mattress uh, the uh, this is this comes in the form of pipes and the it is the pipe the shape is laid the pipes are laid along the flow of the channel and then these pipes are filled with concrete then comes the articulating block mattress the usually the thickness of the articulating block mattress is less as compared to the other forms of the mattress and also uh, it comes and also the reinforcement uh, the reinforcing bars are provided uh, in the individual units between the individual units of the block mattress for the additional stability this uh, this reinforcement bars can be 6 mm or 8 mm then the vegetation mattress this vegetation mattress is mostly used in landscaping landscaping works uh, and it is usually usually provided over the high flood level when there is very less chances for the flow in this kind of mattress uh, you can tear the uh, every alternate segment of the geo mattress and the every alternate segment is filled with the concrete and after placing the mattress this alternate uh, this alternative uh, segments can be tiered and the seeds can be grown later on and, and the vegetation can be grown and it looks very aesthetic as well. Showing you one typical representation of tech geo mattress. 
uh, in which you can see the 150 to 170 uh, mm thickness of the geometrics is provided. This part of the geometrics also helps in anchorage that we discussed. You can see the top trench of one by one and the bottom trench one by one. And this launching apron is provided by means of geotextile bags. We, we saw one example where the launching apron was provided by means of geotextile tubes. Here, this is provided by means of geotextile bags. And this is the uh, use of tech geometrics for the canal lining in which you can see uh, that the geometry is provided on both side slopes of the channel. And in this bigger picture, you can see that this is a completely watertight system where the tech geometrics is uh, tech geometrics filled with sand is provided on the top and geomembrane is sandwiched between the tech geometrics and drainage composite. So this, so this drainage composite help to release the seepage water and this tech, tech geometrics provides the lining and the geomembrane provides the complete impermeability or the water tightness to the system. This is uh, one case study. Uh, we recently supplied our tech geometrics at Kuch Bihar uh, Best of all. You can see the launching apron is provided by means of geotextile bags. There are some very important references. Uh, some of the import, uh, references are that one is practical manu uh, pra practice manual for use of technical textile in water resources. This, um, this is released in 2019, released by Ministry of Water Resources and Handbook for Flood Protection, Anti-Erosion and River Training Works released by Central Water Commission. And this is a very important uh, test book, uh, Geosystems uh, and Geosynthetic and Hydraulics and Coastal Engineering Works by K.W. Pilarczyk. Thank you everyone. That is it from my side. Uh, you, thank you for your valuable, valuable time. Uh, you can send your questions, your feedback uh, to this uh, below mentioned details. We'll be very happy to answer all of your queries. Thank you so much.